Um, oh god, okay, he... Is he a pr um, he's a problem. He's a problem. He's a problem. Yeah, he a problem. He uh, freaked me out a little bit. Okay, let's now actually get back to what we were doing. We... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, I found myself. Next we go up here. No, we don't. I think after no, we did. We did. We did. And then we go up here. And we're back again. I'm guessing that's those dudes. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Excuse me, I found them. I found yours. Yep. I found that one. Yep. And I found... That one. And it belonged to Duck. He was really huge enough for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? I did! Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Sometimes, Zobazar... Zobaldsa... I keep saying it wrong every single time. Doc, I'm so sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Okay. You can do it. I believe in you. And voila! It works! Come with me. I'm coming! Up there, see the building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, it should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. Awesome. You're the only one. You're the only one small and quick enough to invade the Zerks. We need to. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay. When the rooftops.
and up. I'm too quick for you. Quick. I too quick for you. Remember something. Taking all that information. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up a rainbow lamps, neon signs all over the house. The person was taken away and never seen again. When people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for the people to see colours again, like on the outside. I think it helped. He's slowly getting his memory. Oh, hello. Let me guess, did I jump back onto it? Yep. Just to finish it off. this out. I'm working this out. Nothing else over there. That's what I'm getting to top of. for you guys. I'm much too clever. You guys would never be able to capture me. We go over here. And up and over the rafting type thingy, crane thingy. It is so pretty though.
the game auto saved. Yep. That means. Uh. Okay, let me. I think I need to run over there. That means. Oh god. I'm dead. Yep. Yep. I can see why. I can see why it auto saved. Because it's going to get tough. Okay. I'm safe. For now. That makes me nervous. It makes me very nervous. Okay. Which means I'm gonna have to. Just while I'm here. Neto Corporation? Oh, Neko! Oh. They're responsible for waste management. As you crash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After humans disappeared, the bacteria mutator um, growing, eating away more than the trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Okay. So, I'm guessing those things are actually Zerks. So what's going to happen is that we're going to have to release those guys, kind of trick them over here. Ha. You ain't getting into here. I'm too clever for you. Um You know how I just said I was too clever? I'm now under the impression that this wasn't actually very important. Oh no. Oh. 
Ah, oh, I worked it out because I'm intelligent. I'm safe now. What's this do? Why, uh, I was about to say, why does this give me, like, really, really bad? Okay, come over here. Oh no, 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 I, I don't quite get how I'm meant to get th Please don't say I have to do that bit all over again. Okay. Do I simply just have to press it again? themselves up there. I would say, look how pretty it all is, but it, it's not very pretty. Thank you. Um... That's a slight issue. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Okay. Transceiver. I put it on. Might be safe. Now, what I hope is that it kind of takes you straight back and not you have to walk all the way back. Oh, they make it easy for you like that. Okay. I can accept that.
Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Human kind built the shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open the city. But... My, just, just, I'll, I'll read what he's going to say in a second. If you open up the city, wasn't that let the Zerks out as well? And they might kill everything? I think that's a very real possibility. No other items? I don't think there's any other items. I like how human personnel only is being put on there. Let's go! Okay! Let me on little cat flap. Slums part two. And you know, it's so good to tidy things up. I am oh, 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 oh. Outsider. If you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've got the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Yeah. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window. Okay. I don't know where the bar is, but I'm guess we're going. Is that the bar? That looks like a bar. Um, the code was that 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 was the code. Come here, I managed to get a signal. See, it's very, very simple. He invited me next to- He gave me the head parts! Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've 
Almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait. Is that you? Is it Balthazar? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Mr. Baltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found our way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello. Darn it. We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabaltazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if Zabaltazar made it, there must be a way. you never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Thanks for the warning, mister. Hmm. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. His friend. Don't listen to Seamus. No one caught it! No! You let him get away. You let him get away. How could you do that? I think that's your first one of the day that you let get away. Did you just think you don't want to give him his freedom? And let him just maintain it. Don't think to see us. He's just scared like I was. If Doc Bill could have built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on. Follow me! Okay. Is there any secrets in here? I will follow you soon. Secrets! Do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved to be mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. If you want to do it, you can do it, mate. You do whatever you feel like. Hi! This is a newspaper for the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. I'm called cleaning up the place. All these beer cans. Oh wait. More music! We're doing so well. Hi! Grandma Bisgaff. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. You're going over here. Hi! I'm cleaning the pot of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Okay. <gasps> that must mean secrets. Nothing down there. 
There's nothing really in here. The gen isn't actually anything in here, that's a bit disappointing. Other than super detergent. I'm looking for sheep music to play guitar. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted us to, wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. Situation is pretty tough for Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you? I think I have an idea. Am I to sneak up? Here, take the doctor notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay. There's a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Fine, we'll see you at lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. Like, I think they've got a lot of faith. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. A lot of faith in a, in a cat who can't actually speak to him. But hey-ho! Each their own. What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Okay. I will show you. Doctor notebook. What's this? Wait. Is that my papas? Oh wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Um, here's my investigative work then. I can destroy things. Time will tell. I don't know what the password could be. Only... Time will tell. One second. Is it two five one one? Two five one one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cute sounds, but never friendly. All bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. So they probably won't be able to kill everything during the day, but during the night time they could kill everything on the surface. What about just a torch? I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. 
When will 3748 be my friend? I think it will always be your friend. But I feel like it doesn't want to prove itself. These blueprints. They must be for his Zerp weapon. Papa was always so secretive about with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. He might have survived. They're all just assuming he died. He might have survived and been absolutely fine. Robots news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. That seems pretty bad. Concept life based handgun. Am I going to be able to get a gun? Uh, cat with a gun. Low priority, visual appearance, size, decibel emitted, high priority, test in real condition. 20 zerk destroyed per second. Oh, wow. That also says to me it's going to go a little bit crazy. Find anything interesting here? Not yet, no. Up here was useless. <coughs> Did I pick up something I didn't realize? No. What about this one? Oh, that's got something in it. A broken tracker. I did. I got a broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. I could always use that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed. Uh, I don't quite think finding a tracker means that he's alive. I think it just means you might be able to find his body. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. So in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Oh, thank you. Such a polite young boy. Such a very polite young boy. Thank you very much, Lee. You are very kind. Okay. I think he just quit in the code. Um, hello. connection back did you find something interesting with yep I did I did I got that can you fix this right to another guy who fixes stuff like this he's very talented just a little well, you'll see. Name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay. Oops. So. 
just left of here. <laughs> Ellie, it's programming. Back in the dark and wait for us to open. Over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we have programmed to be slaves. But since two, five, four, four, eight, seven, five, 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 six days, we have a, a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Memo. Nice. Sheet music! Thank you very much, Lee. Anything else over here? Hello? I think we're safe. So what's in here? Yeah, we're safe. Go up here. <laughs> Nothing up there. Well done, you've got it. You're back on your roll again. On the roll again. She just wants to be back on the roll again. And we go scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Yes, you can. You can fix this for me. Because I want to get outside. Oh wow, that's great. Tracker. I recognize this model. It's Toma BR2000. <sighs> you can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to stick to tracker. Um. Remember something. Memory. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that the human inge in ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what humans would have wanted. What about a rug? Don't you have a blanket anywhere? Apparently you don't have a blanket. But you have rugs that I think are perfectly suitable. Do I genuinely have to try and get you a blanket? <laughs> if you want him to go back to work, you better go use some cloth. Okay. Some cloth. Can I leave?
What about that? <laughs> What about... Okay. Okay, so I don't necessarily know. And he's only doing it. I need an electric cable. Where would I find an electric cable? That is for collecting. I don't know. I really don't know. But I think that will be a mystery for tomorrow because, yeah, I've just looked at the time and it is one o'clock in the morning. I think it is almost time to just close my eyes for a bit and enjoy things. But yeah uh thank you very much for joining i had a lot of fun this one will be coming back there's a lot more to this game than i thought there would be there is definitely a lot more to this game than i thought there was going to be so yeah i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i should be back again i know i'm sorry I probably will be back on tomorrow, but I've got more the day off. I'll have to stop probably about 1.30ish till about 3ish. But yeah, um, I will probably have to leave it there. I'm sorry. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, though. I am very much glad you enjoyed yourself. But yeah, I will be back tomorrow. And I'm wanting to go back into a normal routine now that temperature should now be regulating itself. So, yeah. And we can then work out the mystery of where to find cloth. Because clearly that is something I have to work out. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you next time.